Back in 2008, the Heinz Company commissioned a survey that revealed that Brussels sprouts were America's most hated vegetable. Yeah, they actually used the term most hated. Well, nowadays we love Brussels sprouts. Just try to buy them at the supermarket. You can't find them. And that's because especially when they're roasted, they're charred, they're a little bit crisp on the outside and tender inside. So Elle's here, she's gonna show us a much better, faster, easier way, right, to oh, yeah. get roasted Brussels sprouts on our table. Bridget, give me <laughs> 10 minutes and you'll have the best Brussels sprouts you've ever had. All right, 10 minutes, that's fast food, oh, practically. Yeah. Pretty fast. Okay. So we're starting here with sprouts that are one to one and a half inches. No pun intended, but this is no small thing. This is very important, <laughs> this size. Right. It's better to use small ones because they'll cook faster, evenly, and they'll all fit into the pan. So trimming them is very important. Trimming will get rid of any loose leaves and any discolored leaves. Right. The next step in this is to half them. So we want a nice flat surface to get some browning. That's right. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna finish these off, cutting off the bottom, cutting down the middle. Petit chou, tiny cabbages. Tiny cabbages. Okay, so while testing these recipes, we had two major challenges. The first is that when we cooked the sprouts, this is what you get. A little dark bullseye in the middle, which basically means the cooking is not happening over the entire surface area. So what we need to do is put these Brussels sprouts in the skillet face down. A part of that uneven cooking process we found was starting in a hot pan. Mm -hmm. So starting in a cold skillet has its benefits, right? I wouldn't be able to put these sprouts in here so easily. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. It would definitely be a mad scramble, trying to get them all in without burning myself, right. without burning sprouts. But that brings me to the second issue. Okay. If you don't add enough oil when cooking, you're gonna get that bullseye. Okay. It's not gonna cook all the way through. So we found that when we upped the ante on the amount of oil, up to five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, the oil is gonna get captured inside the leaves of the sprouts. The sprouts are gonna create their own steam because we're gonna cover it. They're gonna open up and create that beautiful surface area that we need for browning. All right, lots of surface area, lots of browning. Five minutes, right? Yes, Let five minutes up. over medium high heat in a non-stick skillet. All right. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I'm gonna take the lid off. Look oh, how beautiful yeah. that is. I like where these are going. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give them a check. This is when the browning starts. So you're just starting to see a little bit of browning here. That's right. If you feel like the ones on the edges are not getting as brown as the ones in the middle, you can rearrange them. Okay. But we're doing okay here. All right. I'm gonna let them go for another two to three minutes. So while we wait, I wanna make one of my favorite variations of this dish. And we're gonna start with a Fresno chili. It's a little spicier and it's gonna give this a little bit of a kick. So I'm gonna just prep this pepper, just cutting off the stem. This is a quick preparation. Quarter that, get the seeds out, the whites out. I like a little spice, but not too intense. They and almost have a wrap. sweet fruity flavor as well. You oh. can smell the fruitiness when you cut it actually. Really beautiful. Yeah. And we're just gonna mince the Fresno chili. I love that you're doing this variation, really love it, but that we do have a few more available on our website. We have the lemon and pecorino, simple, elegant. Yeah. And then we have a maple syrup with smoked almonds that is kind of addictive. Oh, that's my favorite one. Yeah, I don't know if that one serves for, but you can find all of these on our <laughs> website at americastestkitchen.com. All right, so I have my minced Fresno chili in there, and to that I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of fish sauce, and two teaspoons of lime juice. Classic combination there, the fish sauce and the lime juice. Yes. A little bit of heat from the chili. I'm just gonna give that a stir until the salt dissolves, and that's all set. All right. Nice and easy. So it's been two or three minutes. I've taken it off the heat. Let's check for doneness. Oh, that looks Mahogany. beautiful. That's gorgeous. All right, let me just use the paring knife to make sure they're the tenderness that we desire, okay. because that's super important. All right, so, oh, the paring knife's going straight through. They're ready to go. Okay. And now I'm gonna add this chili sauce. Oh, hitting that hot pan. Oh yeah. It just came alive. It just came alive. Just came alive. Real quick. So I'm tossing it <laughs> a little. Make sure they're all covered in the sauce. It looks great. I'm gonna season it with just a pinch of salt because the fish sauce is pretty salty. So right. it doesn't eat a lot. All right, that's great. Let's plate it up. I'm ready to eat. A little bit of the green side and a little bit of oh, the yeah. brown side. So to finish this off, I'm gonna add our two tablespoons of mint. All right. Finally, two tablespoons of dry roasted, finely chopped peanuts. Okay. Just basking in the beauty of these Brussels sprouts. They are beautiful. There we are. I cannot wait. Mm. Mm. Who's hating Brussels sprouts? 
beautiful roasted flavor on the outside. They're really creamy and tender on the inside. Almost like butter. I would never believe that you made that in 10 minutes. That's kind of the point. <laughs> Well, if you'd like to make these incredible Brussels sprouts, start by buying one and a half inch Brussels sprouts that are cut right in half. Arrange them in a cold skillet, drizzle with oil, and cook on the stovetop. First lid on, and then lid off. Meanwhile, make a dressing with chili, lime juice, and fish sauce. Toss it together, then garnish with peanuts and mint. Oh, it's so good. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, savory, speedy, and this version a little spicy, skillet roasted Brussels sprouts. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.